We're back with another Epic Week in LEGO news with the reveal of the UCS Land Speeder and all the May 4th promotions. Avatar set details, Viking ship, Muppets minifigures, Ninjago Season 15, Great Pyramid, City Train. Plus, are we getting an Atari 2600? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And thanks to all of you for blowing up last week's video again. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First over at Amazon for Mickey and Friends, we've got Mickey Mouse's propeller plane for 30% off. Next from LEGO City, we've got the main square for 15% off. And from LEGO Technic, the Ferrari 488 for 20% off. Next from LEGO Art, we've got the Hogwarts Crest for 20% off. And over at Wood, they've got the Monkey Gets Cloud Jet for 23% off, the Baryonyx Face Off for 20% off, and the Star Wars Dio for 21% off. At LEGO, you can get this free LEGO Technic poly bag with $40 purchases of LEGO Technic, Creator 3 in 1, or Speed Champions. And don't forget, all the new Jurassic World sets are now available. So if you want to pick up any of these sets or any other deals and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next in Star Wars news, May the 4th is back, and with it, the reveal of the Ultimate Collector Series Luke's Land Speeder and the reveal of all the promotions, including including some controversial ones. The UCS Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder has 1,890 pieces, retails for $200 starting on May 4th. The long rumored X-34 Land Speeder looks really nice in this larger scale, especially as it's positioned here on the display stand. The curved details are captured nicely, especially with all the flex tubing that wraps around the front to create that design. The coloring and the details really help this stand out. Plus the exposed wiring on one of the engines, some of the fun details on the sides, as well as of course the brand new canopy piece, which looks exceptional. This set includes the display plaque with all the details, plus two minifigures. On the right, we've got the classic farm boy Luke, but this C-3PO is the only exclusive figure, and it's by far the most detailed, as this one features a dual-molded silver leg and all that great side printing. And while the overall feel is a bit simpler than the other UCS style sets, I think this one just looks clean. The rest of the May the 4th promotions start on May 1st, so let's break it down. First, with Star Wars purchases over $160, you'll get the Lars Family Homestead Kitchen. While the idea of this may seem unconventional, it's a really nice design, and I'm not sure we would have gotten this scene otherwise. This futuristic kitchen looks really awesome built on its side with all the opening compartments and fun accessories, including a carton of blue milk and a mini land speeder. And over by this doorway, there's a minifigure for Aunt Beru, which features an exclusive torso, which looks great. And I prefer this to the previous microscale vignettes. With your $70 Star Wars purchase, there's this exclusive Mandalorian Beskar keychain, which is made to look like the pieces of Imperial Beskar from the Mandalorian. And they're actually made of metal. And with your $40 Star Wars purchase, you'll get the new ATST poly bag, which you can get in other stores, which means means that the rumors about the Blue Mook Luke Skywalker promo were sadly not true. But I imagine the deluxe edition of the game will become available again. They'll also be having double VIP points on select Star Wars sets, which is a change from previous years. As looking through the fine print, you'll see that only these sets are on sale. Strangely, some of the listed sets are actually retired, but all of the non-retired sets are scrolling across your screen right now. And as you can see, it's mostly many of the older sets, which excludes newer releases like the upcoming Star Wars dioramas and the recently released Star Wars helmets. And notably, none of the Ultimate Collection series sets are part of this promotion, including the Land Speeder, which is strange because usually all the Star Wars sets feature double VIP points. But if you're going to be picking up any of the Star Wars sets and want to support the channel, there's links in the description below. Next up, thanks to foreign retailers, Promo Bricks, and LEGO themselves, we've got tons of details about upcoming sets. First from Wagner's, we got details of the first Avatar set, Jake and Atiri's first flight on the Banshee. This set is set to include 572 pieces and retail for $60. This set will, of course, recreate this iconic scene from the first movie. And at $60, this set could look something like these ones from Ninjago, with a similar price range. But as this set also includes Nateria, I wonder if it'll include two Banshees, which might mean they're a little more scaled down. But either way, I can't wait to see what comes of this line. Next, thanks to the Kids Cool Shop catalog, we got this page featuring the unreleased LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Viking ship, which is set to release in June. This set, of course, pays homage to the classic set from LEGO Vikings, and this newer version looks really great. The longboat itself looks really great with its brick-built sail and the highly detailed hull with all the different colors and fun elements. The Midgard Serpent looks highly poseable and features a nice bright color scheme. The set includes four new Viking minifigures, and I especially love this female Viking with a brand new hair hat combo, which looks awesome. And this one might have to be a pickup for me. Next, thanks to Promo Bricks, it looks like we'll be getting an Atari 2600 set for the 50th anniversary. This, of course, is the second retro console after the Nintendo Entertainment System, though this one doesn't sound like it'll feature a TV. Similarly, the main build for this set will be the console, and this time it'll feature two controllers. Similarly, this new set will also feature a brick built cartridge this time of the classic Atari game, Pitfall. It's said the console will open up and you can use the controller to swing the main character, Harry, over a pit of crocodiles. Which is of course different to how Mario worked, though I imagine we might get another figure. Next, also from Wagner's, we're going to be getting a Great Pyramid of Giza set for 140 euro. The set of course could be very cool at that price point and it's been a while since we've gotten anything Egyptian themed. Given the set numbering, this set will be part of the architecture line and given the price, it'll probably be similar to the Taj Mahal set you see here. But I'm hoping there'll be some nice interior 
details, as otherwise the pyramid might be a little bit simple. Next up, thanks to LEGO's instruction site, we got our first look at the LEGO City Freight Train and LEGO Friends Andrus Theater School. The new freight train comes with a ton of track, plus it seems to be powered, as we can see the remote here. There are four train cars included, and the designs seem to be pretty nice with some fun colors. I especially love the car carrying one. Plus, there's this crane vehicle. The theater school seems really detailed, with the stage with the opening curtains and backdrop, the box seating, as well as all of the fun accessories to dress up all the mini dolls. Next up, this week we also got the reveal of the LEGO Collectible minifigure series for the Muppets, and the wait was well worth it. There are 12 minifigures included in the series, and you'll be able to pick them up for $5 each on May 1st in a single pack, or for $30 in a six pack. First up, there's Kermit the Frog, who looks really nice, and I especially love his accessory here with the banjo and the printed rainbow. Next up, we've got Miss Piggy, who features dual molded arms, dual molded legs, and this great printed tile for her magazine. Next, we've got Fozzie Bear with printed for detail on every side, plus a microphone and banana. Next, we've got Gonzo with unbelievable printing down to the shoe detail on the mid legs, plus his chicken Camilla. Next, we've got Ralph the dog with fur printing all over. An animal with dual molded arms and legs with great printing. Animal comes with this brick built drum set with a printed bass drum, and Ralph comes with the sheet music and a bust. Next up, we've got Janice who looks nice with the dual molded legs and comes with a guitar. Next, we've got the Swedish chef with dual molded legs and he features a whisk and this printed tomato head. Next, we've got Beaker with dual molded legs and shoe printing, plus Bunsen who also features tons of printing on the mid legs. Bunsen features an Erlenmeyer flask and Beaker features this awesome printed remote control. Next up, we've got Statler and Waldorf with nice printed suits and even printed shoes. Walter features the teacup and saucer and this printed tile, and Statler features a laptop with Scooter's face on it. This set is certainly worth it with all of the brand new molded heads and printed details on every possible surface. And as a huge Muppets fan, this is a must have for me. And if you want to pick them up and support the channel, there's links in the description below. Next in Ninjago news, this week we got the season 15 poster with tons of details hidden within. There's a crystal theme to the poster and season, and here we can see the ninja's four golden weapons encrusted with crystals. At the center, we can see Lloyd's eyes, but there's a lot of other villains hidden within. At the very top, we can see a Asphira, and just to the left, we can see Pythor. To the right of that, we can see the mechanic. Below Lloyd's eyes to the right, we can see the Skull Sorcerer, and to the left of that, we can see Mr. E. And with all these villains returning, I'm very curious to see what's coming next. And speaking of what's coming next, quick reminder that all of the Lightyear sets will be coming out tomorrow on April 24th. Then the Thor Love and Thunder sets come out a couple days later on the 26th, which is the same day the new Star Wars dioramas come out, so if you want to pick up any of these sets and support the channel, there's links in the description below. Next up in Brickling Designer Program news, we finally got the pricing for the third round of sets. First up, we've got Space Troopers, which will include 2,670 pieces and retail for $200. Next, we've got 1950s Diner with 1,377 pieces retailing for $130. Next, we've got Train Station Studgate with 4,062 pieces retailing for $400. And Working Waterfall with 2,399 pieces retailing for $230. Next, we've got Exploratorium with 3,403 pieces retailing for $300. And Winter Shell with 2,705 pieces, retailing for $200. Next, we've got the Modular Construction Site with 3,371 pieces, and the Mountain View Observatory with 3,889 pieces, both retailing for $320. And finally, BrickWest Studios with 3,928 pieces, retailing for $350. On the whole, while the sets are certainly amazing, the prices for this round seem to be next level high, with the lowest one being $130, and the most expensive being $400. I picked up one set in both rounds one and round round two, but these ones might be a little too pricey for me. And I'm curious if these expensive prices will make it hard for the top five to rise to the top through the crowdfunding. Currently, there's no set date for when crowdfunding will begin for round three, but of course, stay tuned and I'll let you know. So there you have it, another awesome week in LEGO news with so many new sets to get excited about. Personally, I'm so excited for all the sets coming out the rest of this month and leading into May with the Muppets, Lightyear, and so many other themes I'm excited about. And of course, I'm already strategizing around which sets I want to pick up on May the 4th, so I I can get all those great promos. But I also can't wait to see all the stuff that LEGO has in store with us, like the final photos of the Viking ship and all the Avatar sets. As if my wallet wasn't feeling light enough. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one! Hey guys, Michael here. Click and watch live video featuring Fortnite, Harry Potter, Botanical Collection, Chip and Dale, promos, and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.